and makeup pros are always here for you. So we are taking your questions uh, coming in on all of our social media platforms. I'm going to start with Sandy who tweeted this question. What can I use to make my makeup last longer, especially during the summer months when it gets hotter and we get all like yeah. greasy? Yeah, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. you, typically what you want to do is make sure that everything that you're using switches over to more matte versions. So right. less hydrating, less creamy, a little more oil absorbing. Yeah. So a few tricks. One is um, example is mattifying primer. I'm using obviously cover effects products here, but you know, there's yeah. tons of stuff out there. So mattifying primer helps to smooth the skin, which will help prevent makeup from moving, but also will help to control shine. Right. Powder foundation, you know, with a brush, it's simple, it's easy. Um, Don't fast. use the creamy stuff. No, skip the cream. I'm a big fan of cream, but like skip it for the summer. It's right. just, it's too emollient. Um, Setting powder, this is matte setting powder, a great trick is, and actually I just did this on Philippe, sorry, mm -hmm. secret's out, is you just, <laughs> I might as well show you, I've got this beautiful model I chose today, but you just basically <laughs> press it into the skin, and what this does is it takes the shine away, but it doesn't look makeup y. Right. It's Blotti translucent. Yeah. Like it's, it's always going to be sort of clear. Totally translucent. Um, blotting papers, mm -hmm. and I'm, one of my favorites is at a certain coffee company. Mm hmm based in the Northwest US. Mm -hmm. Their napkins are phenomenal. You know who they Take are. They hate me. Every time they see me coming in, <laughs> gift with purchase with your $6 latte. <laughs> yeah. Take a stack and I told napkins. You. And then another cool They're thing free. that we just developed, I love this. Okay. This is like a liquid blotting paper yeah. that you put on your fingers and add during the day on top. Hydrates the skin, controls shine. Really? Under, mix it in, but on top is really cool. So it's like a liquid oh. blotting paper. So that's really cool and it refreshes the skin. That's which is cool. really cool. It is cool. Yeah. That's so lots like of choices that. there, but matte, matte, matte. Yes. I use this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very good yeah. for keeping everything yeah. in place too. Yeah. Okay, Mackenzie tweeted, I've been using a purple shampoo, I didn't know this existed, to keep my blonde hair from going brassy. However, it's been coloring some parts of my hair lilac every time I use it. Is there uh, a better product that will keep my blonde without making my hair look like cotton candy? Which I think <laughs> is kind of cute. Well, there's two types of purple shampoo. Yeah. Okay, there's purple concentrate, which is what I have here on the right, uh -huh. and then there's purple shampoo. Now, if you're using the concentrate, you can't use that directly every time you wash your hair on your hair, because that is actually going to hold on to the pigment of the hair. Yeah. So what you want to do if you want to use something more regular to keep the brassness away is the purple shampoo. The concentrate you have to mix with a regular shampoo oh. to dilute it, oh. and you shouldn't be using it every day. You should be using it every second or third wash. Got it. And that will stop it from uh, adhering to the hair. Stay away from the concentrated Stay one. Stay away from the con If you have the concentrate, mix it with a regular shampoo. To yeah. dilute it a bit. Yeah. Girls oh, with highlighted hair. Yes. All the time. Like you. That's it? how you keep. Yeah, I use that all the time to you keep it. You use the it. concentrated one. Yeah, and I, but I use it so that it t gets that brassiness, that yellow out of the hair. Oh, Keeps it that I see. cooler. But okay, yeah. so girls and boys, and boys. with highlights. <laughs> Okay, here's a Facebook question from Gwen. I've been wanting to play at my eyes a bit more, but they're always hidden behind my glasses. Do you have any tips? Yeah, a lot of times, I see people all the time with glasses and they're spending all this time on eyeshadow and blending and whatever, and it really does get lost behind yeah. the frames. So a trick is, is to really focus on definition on the eye. And what that means is eyebrows, you wanna make mm -hmm. sure you have a really nice groomed brow, eyeliner, and yeah. mascara. You almost think of the frame of your eye. You kind of lose that, you know, sort of shadow, etc. So do a neutral shadow, but if you say you want to do color, even something dramatic, do an eyeliner that's a bright pop of color. Right, because you're make gonna it, see that. Make it a little bit more dramatic than you would, and that way you'll it'll read. Yeah. As as you know, something a little bit more creative if you want to. So do yeah, that. don't go all the way up to the brow bone bone thinking you're gonna see that smoky lost. eye more. Yeah, it's it just lost. gonna get lost. Yeah. Okay, Lisa sent this one in. It seems like my hair takes forever to grow. What can I do to make it grow faster? <laughs> Philippe, can you help her out? Yeah, I mean this is this is a secret that hairdressers have been keeping forever. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal it here today. Is it called extensions? <laughs> that's what I do. Every night when you get home. Mm -hmm. Put your feet in water. What? What? What does that do? Nothing. <laughs> there, there's, there's, listen, I, I don't care what people are going to try to sell you. Secret potions, secret lotions. Hair grows roughly, more or less, half an inch a month. 
Okay. That's six inches a year, okay? <laughs> You're not gonna get more. You might get more, you might get a little less, but that's gonna be the range. Okay. You wanna grow your hair, you wanna grow your hair, visit your hairdresser every 10 to 12 weeks. Right. Get a small trim so those ends don't start splitting up the you shaft. You gotta trim it. You gotta keep it healthy. Yeah. You know, condition once a week. Do a little bit of oil treatments. Let your hairdresser guide you. I've been known to help people grow their hair. People that have gone through certain treatments and have lost their hair and so on and so forth. Yeah. And it, it, it takes time. Patience is key. Okay. Patience and give your care. hair a little bit of love. Care. Yeah, and professional care helps. And put your feet in water. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing he's ever said.